Hello. Uh, notes. Make sure you take some. Because uh, like I always say, I know what I'm doing. You need to know that you know what you're doing. But without further ado. Mm -hmm. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. All right. So how to require blah, 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 blah. <laughs> how to write the equation of a line given two points. Use the two points to find the slope. Plug it in as m. Choose one of the points and plug it in as x and y. Solve for b. Plug in m and b. That's a lot. We're gonna do a lot of examples though, so it'll be okay. <laughs> okay, so find the slope. So if I have two points, two comma zero and four comma four. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the slope by using the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So because I'm nice, I labeled the points, x1, y1, x2, y2, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to find our slope. So 4 minus 0, 4 minus 2. 4 minus 0 is 4 over 2. 4 over 2 equals 2. That's my slope. So m equals 2. I'm going to take that 2 and I'm going to put it into the formula. But I'm also going to take x1 and y1 and put them into the formula. So look at the blue point, the 2 comma 0. The y1 I put in for y. For m equals m, m I put in the 2. x I put in x1, which is another 2, but the blue 2, not the pink 2. Now I'm going to solve for b. So first, we're going to multiply 2 times 2. That's 4. I have to get b by itself. So get rid of the 4. Negative 4 equals b. So I take the m and I take the b, and that's my final answer. y equals 2x minus 4. Mm-hmm. Hoping that that somebody caught it. Okay, next example. Example number two, same thing. Find the slope. Use the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm gonna go ahead and label. Look at the label. Okay, so I plugged it in, negative four minus four, two minus one. I'm gonna get negative eight over one, which is really what? negative 8, right? So my slope, which is the same thing as m, is negative 8. Step number two is find the y, or the second thing that you need to do is find the y-intercept. We need to plug in a y, y1, we need to plug in m, but we already know what m is, and we need to plug in x1. Okay, y1 is 4, m is negative 8, x1 is 1. So 4 equals negative 8 times 1 plus b. Multiply negative 8 times 1. Get rid of the negative 8. Add 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. I take the b and I take the m and I put them in the equation. y equals negative 8x plus 12. Boom! I know, I make it look easy. I make it look easy. All right, let's try some. Let's try some more. Um, this is slide five out of 12, so. Just so you know. Okay, find the slope. Label your point x1, y1, x2, y2. Plug in your slope. Notice that we have three minus negative five. What's minus minus? It's going to turn into a plus. So I'm going to get 8 over 1. So that is positive 8. Now, we got to think about what we got to do now, right? So we got to find our y-intercept. Remember, your y-intercept is b, okay? So we must focus on what we need to plug in. So remember, we want to plug in y1, plug in x1. So y1 is negative 5, x1 is 2. 3 and the m was 8. Now that we did that, we want to multiply 8 times 3, which is 24. 
And then we're going to get rid of that 24. So we're going to subtract 24. Because it was positive, so to cancel out a positive, you want to do a negative. So I'm going to get negative 29 equals B. So now that I have M and now that I have B, ta-da, I can plug them in. Y equals 8X minus 29. Final answer. All right, so let's, if you're feeling good, I suggest you pause the video, see if you could do this one on your own. Okay? Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Labeling the points, plugging in the numbers. What does minus minus do? Turns into a positive, so negative four plus three it's gonna give us negative one over negative two which is really just positive one half now we need to find the y-intercept so i need to plug in a y1 i need to plug in an m and i need to plug in an x1 okay so i'm going to find those values y1 is negative three m is one half and x1 is four what's one half of four Two, no need to freak out about the fraction. Negative three equals two. Get rid of that two by subtracting. Negative five equals B. So I have M, I have B. Now I have an equation. Y equals one half X minus five. Final answer. Yes. Okay. Slide seven out of 12. Um, pause the video, see if you can do it yourself. Hopefully you pause the video. All right, let's do our slope. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Label your point, x1, y1, x2, y2, plug them in. So negative three minus minus five, um, negative three minus three. What does minus minus give us? It gives us a plus, so that's negative three plus five. Negative three plus five is two. Negative three minus three is negative six. My slope simplified is negative one third. I need to plug that in. So I need a y1, I need an m, which I already have, and I need an x1. So y1 is negative five, m was negative one third, because we just found that, and then x1 is three. What's one third of three? Again, don't let the fraction freak you out. What's one third of three? It's one, but it's a negative one in this case, because we multiply by negative one third. Get rid of that pink negative one. Add one to both sides. We're going to get negative 4 equals B. So now that I have an M and now that I have a B, now I can write an equation. Y equals negative 1 third X minus 4. Ta-da! Again, pause the video. See if you can do it on your own. Okay, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Label your points and then plug them in. So negative five minus four, negative three minus three. That's gonna be negative nine minus six. Simplified, because you always wanna simplify your slope, I'm gonna get three over two. So now we're gonna plug in three over two for m. For y1, we're gonna use four. And then for x1, we are going to use three so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get three halves of three so now we're getting a little complicated because I usually am like don't let the fraction freak you out but what's three halves of three well we would do three times three which is nine and then two on the bottom two times one technically is nine halves so now I'm stuck with a fraction Ooh. but the same steps reply apply reply <laughs> the same steps apply i need to subtract nine halves right 
So that's a little bit. So I get four minus nine halves, and that's negative one half. And you're like, what? How did that? What did that? How did that? I got you. Okay? You got to do some side work, right? So the side work means is four minus nine halves, right? Which is really four over one minus nine over two. And I got to get like denominators for me to be able to subtract um, subtract fractions. So four over one is the same thing as eight over two, right? Four divided by one is four. Eight divided by two is four. So they're the same thing. They just look different. So now that I have the same denominator, I can say eight minus nine is negative one over two. So negative one half. That's how I got it. Yes. Okay. So I plug those in. So y equals three halves, because that's m, x minus one half, because that's what I got for b. You're like, why are you getting harder on us? I mean, sometimes, sometimes you have to do the fractions, guys. I don't know what to tell you. OK. I feel like this one's going to come out to be a fraction too, but it's fine. Okay, so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I put the, the little labels on the points, okay? Um, so negative 5 minus minus. What does minus minus turn into? Turns into a plus. So negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 over negative 3, and that's going to give me a positive 1 when I simplify. Great. Love to see it. Okay? So... Notice which point I circled. I circled the zero comma negative five. And the reason why I circled the zero comma negative five is that's a y intercept. Anytime the first number, the x value is a zero, the y intercept is already given to you. And if you learn to recognize it, it'll save you some time because y intercept is the same thing as b. So b equals negative five. No extra work. No extra work. Look, I did, it was done. But the trick is you have to be able to recognize it. So y equals 1x minus 5, or just x minus 5. I don't even know why I left the 1 there. We're not babies anymore. We don't need the 1. Oh, look, I did rewrite it. <laughs> Good. y equals x minus 5. I should have circled the bottom one. Anyway, okay, sorry. <laughs> Slide 10 out of 12. Okay. So what are we about to do? Find the slope as per usual. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. 5 minus 1 is 4. 0 plus 5, because 0 minus minus 0 plus 5 is 5. So my slope is 4 fifths. Now look at your two points. What are you going to notice? You better be noticing that that second point is a y-intercept. So B equals 5. Hello? And all I have to do is y equals 4 fifths x plus 5. Ta-da! It's not, it's not that bad. We're doing all right. Okay. So let's say they gave you a table, okay? We're going to pick two points from the table. So I just picked the first two, negative 3 comma 0 and negative 2 comma 2. Sometimes they don't give you the points. Sometimes they give you a table. And because they give you a table, you pick two points. You could literally pick any two points and you would still get the same answer. Okay? And I would proceed like normal. Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1. And I would do 2 minus 0. It's going to give me 2. And I would do negative 2 plus 3. And that would give me 1, which is really just going to give me M equals 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Sorry. Okay, so y <laughs> equals mx plus b. I'm going to plug in everything. We don't have a y-intercept. We have an x-intercept, negative 3, comma 0, but that don't really help me. Um, so we are going to plug in. Uh, multiply 2 times negative 3. That gives you negative 6. Get rid of that negative 6. So b equals 6. Now, what is interesting is if I was really paying attention, if I was really a scholar, I would have noticed that in the table, they gave me 0, 6, which is a what? A y-intercept, and I could have saved myself some time. I didn't have to do all that extra work if I knew that 0, 6 is a y-intercept. 
But I wasn't paying attention, so I did all that extra work for no reason. <laughs> Don't let that be you. Okay, last example. Looking at the table first, then I'm going to choose two points from the table, but are we gonna make the same mistake that we made last time? No, we are not. We're better than that. We are smarticles. So we chose negative one comma five and zero comma negative one. Why did I choose zero comma negative one? Because it is a Y intercept because the first number is a zero. Anyway, finding the slope Y two minus Y one over X two minus X one. So negative one minus minus, which is negative one plus five. That's gonna give me four. Zero minus minus, minus minus gives you plus. So zero plus one is one. Four over one is four. Am I gonna do all of the work to get the Y intercept? I sure am not. B equals negative one, because they gave it to me in a table, and because I'm smart equals, I used it. And so my answer is Y equals four X minus one. set. If you're Haitian, you know what that means. set. okay? Okay? That is concludes this video. Oh, I just spit. <laughs> I was supposed to be at a meeting in five minutes. So um, I got to go. Um, go back through the video. See if you could do it on your own without my help. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share, share, share. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.